So simple example at first, let's, uh, let's look at some colors. Um, here's a, a simple web page. Um, now when you're, when you're creating this for your, your website and you link to it, you might want to actually have multiple uh, files with because you only have one background to play with. You can't kind of show everything at once. You might have to might want to have multiple files, you know, background colors, background images, things like this. But I'm just going to show you on this one file instead of creating multiples uh, and linking to them. And by the way, I don't really care about the copyright. This was just kind of to demonstrate what the footer element would look like. Um, it's kind of prominently shows up on this page, but don't I'm not I don't care. Um, and here is our code. Um, just uh, same kind of code we've been working with. This is the CSS to kind of just get the page uh, looking like it does right now uh, without much going on with the backgrounds yet. And then just, you know, a paragraph. Uh, we've got an emphasis tag and down here we're already at our footer. So not much going on in terms of content. Uh, we're just going to be looking at the background. So uh, the first task again is to change the color of the background um, and then we're also going to change the color of a paragraph and uh, some inline text that'll be the EM that I showed you a second ago. So the element that you want to get at for these is body. This will apply to the entire body um, and that's the background. Um, so I'm going to copy in what I've prepared earlier. Okay, so we've got body. My bad. I didn't need to write that. We already have it written. Okay, we've got body, and uh, the property is background color. And this is sort of the shorthand notation for hex codes. Um, and there's a color here. Um, and then we're going to set up, actually, let's do these one at a time. Save. And we'll just see the, the background color change. We've got this kind of blue color. Now, let's add these other ones I just deleted. Now let's add just the paragraph. Um, same thing, background color. Refresh. Now there's the background colors of the paragraphs are kind of green. Um, and the footer had a paragraph element in it as well. And lastly, P space EM. So this gets any EM that is a, a child of the paragraph element or a descendant of it. And it's got yet yeah, another color. Save and refresh. And you can see it shows up there. Okay, so cool. Um, what I really wanted to do is uh, point out how the background size of, uh, of the different elements changes when you mess with the margins, borders, and padding. So I'm going to pull up this code here, and I'm going to give these uh, some margins that I can play with in Firebug. So I'm going to give the paragraph a margin of uh, two pixels for now, and a padding. Padding, we'll do that in a second. So I've just changed the margin so it's no longer uh, getting the 20% that kind of angles it. Um, so it's much wider. Um, so the, the margin comes all the way to right there. Um, there's two pixels of, of this lighter blue color there, and then there's two pixels there. Um, so if we wanted to kind of take a look at what that looks like when you mess with the padding, we can go into Firebug, inspect. So here's that paragraph. And you can add elements in Firebug by clicking on the last one in a selector, getting at the end there and hitting Enter. It'll drop down to a new line where you can add new selectors. New, uh, new properties. And I'm going to add padding. And let's say three pixels. As we increase that. Kind of bro 
look there. There we go. Increase it, you can see that when you increase the padding, the background is uh, increased in that uh, the spaces here, when you increase the margin, the background is not part of that. Um, the, the padding is part of where the background is. Um, same thing with uh, border. Say dashed uh, eight pixels. Um, you can see, and as we increase the, the width of the border, you can kind of tell that uh, the, the background is increased as well, but not the, uh, but not out just in. Now, if you were to work on an EM element, it'd be similar actually. Mess that up with the syntax error. So you can see the padding increases and the background size increases. Now it's a little bit different with inline because it's uh, not got it's not blocked out on its own level. Um, but that is that. What I wanted to show about that. Now when we refresh, it'll clear out all that firebug stuff we just did. All right, minimize. And so there, we've gone through example one.